<clears throat> All right, this is how and where. This is where to post a blog in Google Drive once you've written a blog so that our admin assistant can get that blog and post it to the website for us and also get it in our newsletter and all that good stuff. So what you're going to want to do, this folder will be shared with you. If you're not on the BFP Google Drive, then you'll have access to this folder where we store all of our content. So it's called, as you see here, BFP content. So I'm going to open that up. And then from here, we're going to go into blogs and newsletters. So everybody will have their own folder, but when you go in here, you're going to divide this up by months. And then from there, let's see my most recent one. Let's go October, 2019. And this was one, let's see, that is not a good one because I never finished that one. Let's go into May. What we got here. So should you train within pain? This was a blog that I wrote, but all you do is open a Google, go into, you know, uh, when you're in your blog folder, create the appropriate month and year folder. So you'll create, you'll go new uh, folder, then type in the appropriate month and year. And then inside of that, you're going to go new doc and you would create the new doc. And then on that new doc, you'll make sure you label it with the title of the blog. And then you're going to write that blog on that doc and with any associated links like YouTube videos and such. Um, and then you're going to paste whatever pictures you want to use. You're going to paste them onto this doc, but you also need to upload those pictures as JPEGs into this folder. So a good example, because we can't put those on the website if we don't have those pictures. So a good example is this one um, that I wrote in March of 2019. Or in, you know, so I, I opened the doc, created it. Are you putting too much fat on your plate? Uh, and then I put a system here for how I wanted to post it, but that's different. But so here's the blog. And if I go back into the folder, I created the picture for it in Canva. Now you don't have to do that. You can just have other pictures that you add to it. Um, but I uploaded it into the folder for them to use. And then I had a video for them to share via social media, which they could do in Buffer also. So it's very important that when you write that blog, it's on a doc and that you uh, label in there where you want the pictures or paste the pictures in there and that you also upload the pictures into your folder. Now, once you're done with that process, you need to get the link for this folder, get shareable link, it copied right there. Now I'm going to go back into BFP content. I'm gonna open the breakaway blog and newsletter library. And this is important because this is where she'll go, he or she will go to get this information. And all of our blogs with the associated links are right here. So you can see we've got a ton of content in here since 2017 between Silas and myself and Iris and some of our other uh, coaches. I've got a few of my ideas here um, that I need to get out of the way, but you would just paste that link here and then type in your title right here and then the date that you wrote it right here. Very, very important because this is where the person is going to grab the information from. So, that is where you put your blog and uh, how you get that there so somebody else can grab it and put it on our website and get it uh, on the newsletter as well.